Hello and welcome to our new training video. In this video I want to present to you the new FDD 3000. We would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. The frequency inverter series is called FDD 3000. The FDD 3000 is developed for controlling asynchronous motors. It is fully integrated into the entire system. The two STO inputs ensure a safe stop. The dynamic voltage of frequency control and the standby mode saves energy and costs. You can communicate with the control via can open Ethercut or run interfaces. At first I want to show you how to set up the interface modules. All you need is a screwdriver. Take the FTD3000 and the screwdriver and turn the lock to open the lid. Next step is to remove the little protector. Therefore, you take the screwdriver and carefully unattach the protector. After this, you can clip in the interface module. Last part is to secure the lid of the FTD3000. If you want to remove the interface module, you have to open the lid with the screwdriver. Then you can remove the interface module while shifting the safety clip. To do a factory reset of the FTD3000, you have to follow these steps. The press buttons are also shown in the rectangle in the blue color. At first, the FTD3000 could for example be in ready mode. To start the factory reset, you click the enter button. This will give you a program overview. Switch with the arrow up and down buttons to program zero. If you have selected program 0, press the enter button. This will show none. Press the button again to edit the mode. Switch the mode with the arrow up button till you reach the mode def.50. If you have selected def.50, press the enter button. Last step is to press the red button. Next step is to set up the FTD3000 project with the CanOpen interface. This is the CanOpen interface topology. Make sure to set the 120 ohm resistors at the end of the canvas. At first, create a new project. Next step is to go online and upload the hardware with the hardware editor. Then you go offline and create a new network to set up the FTD3000 CAN interface. Choose your CAN interface module that you're using as hardware. In my case, I'm using the CANlib. Therefore, you go to the hardware library and do a right click find in tree. Search for underscore CANlib. Place one object of the underscore canlib on the network. Then you search for underscore can open manager. Also place one object of this class on the network. Last class to import from the library is the FTD3000 underscore can open class.
connect the FTD3000 underscore can open to the can open manager and the can open manager to the can lib. Set the can place on the FTD3000 underscore can open object. Then you go online and download the project to the control. When the download is finished, do a right click on the FTD3000 can open object and open the visual object view. In the fourth, you go to screen number one, settings. There, you press the start button to set the node ID. If the setup is finished, you switch to screen number five, drive parameters. Check if you have entered the right motor parameters. After you have set everything correctly, set the hardware class checkbox and click on start. If the parameter setting is done, you switch to screen number 3, Auto-Tune. You use stationary. After this, make sure to enable the STOs. When the STO inputs are enabled, you can click on Start. If Auto-Tune is ready, you have to switch off the STOs. After the auto-tune, you go to screen number 4, Drive Motor Tune. To enable the drive, you have to switch on the STOs. If STOs are switched on, you can enable the drive and move the motor. The Varan interface is the next example. This is the Varan interface topology. At first, create a new project. Next step is to go online and upload the hardware with the hardware editor. Then you go offline and create a new network to set up the Varan interface. Therefore, you go to Hardware Library and do a right-click Find in Tree. Search for FTD3000 underscore axis. Place one object of this class on the network. Also, place the FTD3000 underscore table base on the network. Connect the FTD3000 underscore axis to the FTD3000 underscore table base. Connect the object channel FTD3000 Manager to the hardware network FTD3000 Hardware Manager underscore Varan. Next step is to download the project to the control. When the download is finished, do a right click on the FTD3000 underscore axis object and open the visual object view. 
In the FOV, you switch to Move Settings. Make sure to set all the motors parameter as well as in Drive Settings. Next step is to switch to Auto Tune. Also check for the motor parameters there. For which type of Auto Tune test should be used, you choose Stationary. Then click on to Next. Switch on the STOs and go to Next. Select Start Auto Tune in the next step. If Auto Tune is done, you disable the STOs. Click Next and then Finish. Go to the screen Move Manual. Enable the STOs. Power on the drive and move the motor.